So there's an interesting question posted on one of my videos the other day, and I'd just like to address that video in this video. The question was basically, if I use a page builder like Visual Composer or Elementor to create a website, will my client think that I don't really know what I'm doing? They're kind of cheating and maybe, you know, they're paying someone to do a job they don't really know about. In this video, I'd just like to give you my particular opinion as someone who's been building websites commercially for at least the last 15 years. If you took your car to have some work done in it, so say for example, you took it to a mechanic and you watched them working and you saw them using some pretty rudimentary tools, but at the end of the day, when you picked your car back up and you took it out, what you took it in there for was all fixed and more working perfectly. Would you care what tools they use? If they use a hammer and a couple of screwdrivers and a wrench, for example, would you be bothered by the fact they didn't use some really sophisticated tools in a perfectly clean environment? Chances are you don't really care because at the end of the day, what you want is your car to be working perfectly. And it's very much the same when you're having a website built. I'm not saying that you should be using some really basic tools that are gonna give a substandard end result, but your customer, your client, is coming to you and paying you for your knowledge, your skills and your expertise in an area that they're pretty weak or have no skills and knowledge in at all. So what they're looking for is they're looking to, for you to provide that solution. So to take that analogy one step further, let's just say that when you, you meet with a client for the first time and they say they want X, Y and Z, for example, they may say, I need to sell online. I need to be selling my ebook online. What do you recommend? What do I need to do to do it? Well, you could advise them on it and then they could sort of go off and try to do it themselves. Or you can tell them that you can provide a solution and tell them what you'll be providing them. So in other words, you'll say, what I can put together for you is a website that's very clean and simple. We work great on mobile devices. We fast loading. We'll provide a simple online secure payment solution. So you really have minimal issues. You just deal with taking the payment and your job is done. What do they think they're going to say? They're going to say, fantastic. I can carry on with my next ebook and I can just let that make money for me. And I can sort of have someone to market and promote it. Well, they don't care if you use WordPress or Joomla, you hand code it. As long as the end result meets their requirements or better still exceeds their requirements and expectations, they're going to be incredibly happy with what you provide them. They're paying you for your skills your knowledge and your ability to provide a solution to the problem or the issue that they have. They don't care about the tools you're using. That's what I found in my experience. Now I'm going back to when I was a web developer. So in other words, I didn't use WordPress or Joomla or any of the other CMS sort of applications out there. I built my own from the ground up and I used that for about five or six years until it got to the point where building another version of it was just too cost prohibitive and time prohibitive. I was just too busy. So I looked at WordPress. Have I found any detrimental effect from moving from my own CMS to WordPress? Not in the slightest. Have I found any customers or clients that have come along and go, well, I don't want to use WordPress. I think it's absolutely rubbish. No, because when you sit down and have a conversation, part of that conversation with most clients is educating them in what they need to find the solution to their problem. The tools are irrelevant. As long as those tools provide the solution and they are good quality, provide a great end result, and you're there to offer support and help moving on past that initial development stage, you're gonna have a customer or client for life. Now I'm working with clients I've been working with for the last 12 years, and I still work with them. And I, they've had my CMS, they've had commercial e-commerce software, they've had WordPress. Not once have they been bothered what system they were using as long as it did what they needed to do online sales, provide information, allow contact, etc, etc, etc. So just to recap, your client doesn't mind what solution you provide them as long as you do just that, you provide them a solution. So stop worrying about what tools you use and just worry about providing a fantastic level of service, ongoing support and a website that they can be proud of that meets or exceeds their requirements. So do you find this kind of video useful? Would you like to see more content like this on the channel as opposed to just being videos about how to use Brizzy or visual page builders in general, WordPress, web design, those kinds of things. If you would, what kind of things would you like to see covered in future videos? Do you want me to cover things like contract software, how to deal with clients, finding your clients, how to deal with those meetings, all those kinds of things that becoming a freelancer or becoming a web designer in general really, really requires you to sort of know.
If you would, let me know in the comment section below. Tell me the kind of things you'd like to see covered in future videos, and I'll take a look at covering those content for you. Well, as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.